Hmm. How? Use the fire. Use the fire. Wait. The oh, fire. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Use I'm the good. fire. Do it. Use this. I've been holding that one in for Let's a good bit. Me, ha! He went Super Saiyan. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry I hijacked the stream, but I'm very passionate about Nintendo and what they do shit. Hmm. Squishy driver. Right. Unforgiven like kicks him into a pit. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. Like, oh, man. I just like Gen 2 to have its remake. Like, I, I would like it within the next couple of years if there's going to be a Generation 2 remake. I mean, we got t rex a -coon, You know, sweet coon t rex a -coon. Oh, they're um, definitely... They're def they're, if they don't do a remake for it, they're going to do a uh, Let's Go Oh, did the other ones go out? Like, they did. Fuck. Like, they're going to do a Let's Go remake of Gen 2. There's no question. Because so. Let's Go Eevee Pikachu was such a good seller. But I, they think the, I think the mm -hmm. only... I think the next games they're going to do remakes of, uh, general, like, generation-wise... It, because after after they did Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, they're gonna be like, oh, let's do Unova next, Gen Five. Yeah. Let me tell you, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were not remakes; that were dumpster fires. Yeah, they were. They they like, was so mad at those when they came out. I, like, that sucks. <laughs> Generation Four, Pokemon wise and lore wise, to this day is still top tier for me. And the way they did Gen Four remake was such a fucking. Isn't this far takes her too long? This is after. Because like they 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 Nintendo and Pokemon Company literally went like up in arms and above for Omega Ruby after Sapphire, just yeah. to dump down Gen Four, and yeah, that is so disrespectful. The problem with with the remakes for Gen Four was that they were all like, okay, let's use like everyone was saying like, oh, hopefully they have like the Platinum Pokedex instead of Diamond and Pearl's Pokedex because that sucked. And what did they do? They decided to use the the Diamond and Pearl Pokedex instead of Platinum and giving the Electric Gymulator. Like all but all but like two Pokemon being electric types, and that's the thing. They wanted to be like, "Hey, we want to keep it true to the game," but you didn't do that for Mega Ruby Ave Sapphire. You literally turn it into X and Y two point oh. Yeah. Why can you do that with Diamond and Pearl? You could have made new Gigantamaxes, new everything, but you chose not to. You could have made that game really fucking good, but you chose to. Damn it! Lowest common denominator for the maximum amount of money. Yes, baby, let's go. And That's I think, basically like, Game Freak in they, a nutshell. The fact that they kind of forgot about Mega Evolution like right away after Mega Ruby Fire, there's like, oh yeah, let's just kick Damn it. Mega Evolution out. Like we don't. It's not that I didn't. It's not that I didn't forget it. It's just they realized the majority of the competitive scene hated Mega Evolutions, and well, that's I mean, what it really was. Because Mega Evolutions were broken. Realistically, yeah, no, Megas were incredibly unbalanced. <laughs> Only certain okay, Pokemon got them. So their master plan to make something more balanced was just a more boring version of Mega Evolutions, i.e. the Gigantamax, which is yeah, just no. big. So because after the it's just big. There's nothing special about Gigantamax. Well, no, no, because after, 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 after the Megas, wall and tracking the torches. After Megas, it was Z-Moves. Yeah, Z-Moves, then... Z-Moves were Gigantamax garbage. And Gigamax. And then they have... In the new games, um, the Terra type Pokemon, yeah. which is honestly just the most dumbest thing I've ever heard, seen after yeah. after, uh, after Dynamax. I think I think Dynamax was a really good mechanic. It's what Mega Evolutions should have been because it's the most balanced way of doing it. But it's so boring. It is boring, but it's, it's balanced. It is Finally, balanced. Jesus, you can. My guy, you can balance everything in the world, but if I see boring, I see shit. <laughs> no, 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 that's that's and that's perfectly fine. But the Pokemon Com Pokemon Company takes the competitive scene very seriously. Like yeah. you need very you to take it less seriously because I'm sick and tired of good games having to become blander and more balanced just because of a bunch of competitive streamers wanted to. Man, I don't want to tell you. Well, I don't know what to tell Hold you. I, I remember I when video games you. were made with. I remember what I remember when video games were made with fun in mind. You know, yeah. like video games or something, like games but, or something. But, Damn. but like that's the thing. Pokemon has been competitive since the very beginning. You just never realize it. Like Pokemon has been competitive since Red and Blue. Can I? Okay. Technically speaking, in terms of like mainline Pokemon games, I started with Diamond and Pearl because fucking 
I didn't have any of the previous ones. Mm -hmm. But my first Pokemon experience was actually Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. So oh. I know what a fun Pokemon game feels like. <laughs> Logic. I am a yeah. Pokemon I am a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan. I love those series. Such a beautiful those series. Fantastic. Explore the Sky, Chef's Kiss. Super Mystery I... Dungeon, Kiss the Ass. So I love those games. Hard. Like I won I want to play Explorers of God, of, yeah, of Sky again somehow. Or for them to make like a remake of that instead of the fucking rescue team ones. Sure. Yeah. I haven't played those yet. Like, I haven't the heard rescue team ones are it. the rescue team ones are okay, but I like the explorers ones <laughs> more. What well, did you not play the well actually yeah, yeah you did. I think in my opinion, I think the remakes um Explorer of the Sky and Super Mr. Dungeon were the best ones in the series. Huh? E. Wolf had oh, left, no. he said he's tired. Oh, okay. okay. But, um, that's the thing with, uh, Pokemon. Like, it's, the, it actually just really competitive games in general. They're, they're taking, they, people have realized how you can, like, you can, what kind of games really can do, and they're pushing it. Like, not all games can, not all games have to be like that. Some games in the recent generations have proven that. There Elden we Ring, go. Hmm. Elden Ring is a very single player game, and it won game of the year. No yeah. multiplayer, no nothing. Even well, I mean, God of War, even God of War Ragnarok, Hogwarts Legacy is up there. Um, but yeah, see, they're coming towards back to that scene. It's just only certain companies are willing to take that step. Mm. Oh, right over here. And like also writing real, um, and I, I, I've been enjoying single player games more than multiplayer games recently. But we'll about a rack competitive scene, like and that's just me. Of our kind with this the only game I really do that with is Smash cool. Bros. now. Uh. And that's still like stagnant. <clears throat> And like, like I said, my roommate, for example, like he hates competitive competition in general because it makes him nervous. But it's like, I personally feel, and in my honestly God opinion, I think everyone should do at least competitive once, just to get the feel. Not competitive gaming, just competition in general. Okay, that did not do anything. I'm pretty sure somebody in the chat is gonna tell me something. Uh, helps you surf through waters. That means Golden's a silver... Si oh! Courtney, <laughs> come on! Hmm. Bonk her! Wait, not, I don't want to... I hope I'm not feeling like I'm bonking you, Logic. I just... I, this is... Yeah. What? I just saw this funny thing. Apparently, at one point, Playboy decided to release a Braille version of their magazine. And it just shows, like, a guy who's pretending to be blind going, Damn! And, like, feeling across the page. Oh my god, no! That's so funny. Awesome, ah! I said, I hope my opinion of, like, like all my opinions have been said so far. I'm not trying to, like, prep on you or anything, or debunk you, or derail you or anything. Uh, this is just how I personally feel about stuff like that. Oh, you're fine. You know, it's fine. Yeah. It's like, I'm just... I don't know, I grew up as a games for fun kind of guy, so when I look yeah. at, like, when I look at all of the big stuff that's happened to games specifically because of people who clearly don't play games for fun, it's just like, like, why, why are they making games for people who don't enjoy them? Yeah. So, I, I think back in the day, when I say back in the day, I mean, like, early 2010, or even, like, Melee, let's say, I'll be generous, say, like early 2001. I think people who enjoy games, that still enjoy the games, but they want to see what they can do with it. How far can they push it? And that's what leads to comp competition. I don't think a lot of players intentionally do it for, like, to be the best or just the thrill of winning. I think a lot of players do it because they enjoy the, the pa they have passion about it. Mm. And if there's passion behind it, there's going to be more competitive games. And that is where <laughs> Nintendo, that's why a lot of Smash players do not like 
Nintendo and vice versa. Because Nintendo doesn't want to support competition unless it's Splatoon. And Splatoon... <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm going to be honest, I'll be saying it. Splatoon is a dog shit series when it comes to multiplayer. Damn. I'm going to say it. Drop that mic. Because Splatoon 3 has some of the worst online features I have ever seen in the video game. Even Splatoon 2. For the fact of the matter is, I can't team up with my friends to play online. He is the second I can't catch make private. Okay. I can't make private lobbies. <clears throat> and when I finally get into a game, it disconnects five seconds into it. Oh, so it's an optimized. Yeah. Like when I played Splatoon, I brought Austin's cop my roommate's copy Splatoon three at the time just to try it. <clears throat> I played ten online games of Splatoon three. And I was only able to click one of them. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, Magical Star, Ryza has a lot to say. It's... I'm, s <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's okay. This is like fucking. It's like me and Ryza was just talking about like competitive gaming. I know. It, I know. I Royal, yes, I got the letter. I'm guessing yeah. that's the water dungeon down there. So I find a different path. But yeah, that's that's where I say I say I throw some competition. I think obviously there is people that do it for the money and just for bullshit, and I think that's a terrible way of doing it. If you do it because you enjoy it and have a passion for it, I support it. Hmm. Hmm. And I think that's what a lot of people should look at, like even League of Legends players. I just wish all of the there. exotics I loved from Destiny 2 stopped getting nerfed into the ground just Shit. because a bunch of Crucible players got mad at them. Man, I, I want Mida to be good again. I miss the multi-tool. That was also my it, favorite. It, it, it took me a really long time and a conversation with Aeon to learn that the Mida multi-tool is a reference to Marathon. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, in um, in one of Bungie's older games, Marathon, there's an organization called MITRE. Huh. That's cool. Um, so the MITRE. But yeah, that was my favorite scout rifle in Destiny 1. It makes me so sad that game, the weapon dog shit in Destiny 2. Oh, is it really that bad? It's It hasn't been good since, this, it hasn't been good since Destiny 1. Oh. Because apparently, like, I don't know too much the details of the weapon, but my friend at, at the time, like, he was a very big Destiny well, really Crucible player. Yes, Jerk, I And he was, be. ouch. He was like, the problem with the multi tool was it doesn't do enough firepower for a scout rifle, and the radar is kind of useless in this game because everything's so fast paced. Oh. Huh. So it was just an outdated gun. Oh, God, no, not him. That fucking owl, dude. But chat, I am sorry for taking over the stream. I will apologize one more time. I just, I love games. I love, comp I like competition. It's just fun to me. Also, Courtney, no, no, it does not. <laughs> oh, hello. We got a Skultula. I'll take care of that real quick. Kebarango Bor. What? Yeah, it's Skultula. <laughs> I don't even mm. want to try to pronounce that. Shut, Shut up, Navi. Go. Okay. <laughs> I, I promise I won't say it. Anything about the other <laughs> spiritual stone? Yeah. Sometimes you're useless. Kabora Gobora. Okay. I have no idea what that is. Can I eat it? You can't eat it. I can't eat it. Eat it. <laughs> what um... the fuck is the entrance back to Zora's? Domain. I wonder if Wombo's is... updated anything, up, updated, uploaded anything recently. Wait, hang on. Where is my spray? Here it is. Oh, I didn't check the map. Uh, go, you didn't check the map. No, I'm kidding. I would have done something. Oops. Say map. <laughs> yeah, there it is. We are not going that route with, with talking about that. Say Riza, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Bonto. no. I, I'm I'm an absolute dumbass for not thinking this through. I just went and right. whoop the doo doo doo. 
I haven't been able to watch the stream because I am cleaning, but what has Golden done so far? That's good, that's good. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to Zora's World, aka Water World. Water World. Water World. What Hi, Dusk. My boat. Hey, Dusky. Hi, Hi Dusk. Dusk. Hello. How is friend? Friend. Friend is, is existing. Yeah. <laughs> I love existing. Existence is cool, but have you ever thought about absence? <laughs> just absence of... Nah. <laughs> oh, <awesome>. just, <laughs> just oblivion. Just, just sounds like such a great idea sometimes. Oh, this letter is from <laughs> Princess Rudo. She's inside Lord Jabba Jabu. That's not How possible! Are you? I used to, I, I used to think it, but not anymore. Also, hold on, she's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> um, hold that thought, Logic. Trust me. <laughs> um, uh. I don't want to know. 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 Let me just pull this up. Oh, you're still playing Legend of Zelda. Yep. Yep. How many hours have you been on the computer today, Golden? Uh, Don't ask. Yes. <laughs> Don't ask. Just yes. How much water have you had? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and food? Um, I had a thing of nachos this morning. Nachos is not food. Nacho is a snack. <laughs> but nachos are delicious. Chrissy, Chrissy will make me dinner. Chrissy isn't making you drink. Okay, if I order, if I, if I, yeah, I can't, if I order something that will tie me over, will you be fine with it? Does it contain water? Yes. As long as you are drinking water. It is good. <laughs> Drink water, young man. Stay hydrated. <laughs> or hail hydrate. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Hail hydrate. <laughs> Does like, stay hydrated, I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> I gotta it's, it's get a certain fish from that. Oh no, don't I? Jump off that fucking banister! Why? I don't know why you climbed up there. <laughs> to jump off. Link wants to jump off the banister. <laughs> okay, I think my fleas are officially gone. Now grab fleas? a fish in a bottle. <laughs> oh right, uh, there's one at the uh, that store. You know what? Because later, because later today, I have yet to do a tier stream. Um. <sighs> Let's see, uh, Juke, if you can join a uh, random call on the server, I can bring you in here. Does so, you remember way back during the same Max game, I told you my cat brought in fleas? Oh, yes! Yeah, I've been fighting fleas ever since then. And you then... haven't gotten rid of... Oh, my Whoa. God. Flea caller, but... honey, flea caller. No, it doesn't matter, because Austin and his cat are gone. They moved out. So they're in a different house. Mm -hmm. But Wait, so they moved out and left you with the fleas? Yeah. Isn't that well, fun? at least you still have roommates, I guess. Well, well, I have a different roommate now, but like I, I just it was my roommate before. It, oh God! It was my roommate when two hundred together. I don't Jesus. But um, they didn't. They weren't bad because uh, I literally okay. I was I had like the Dawn Dish Show trap and I was able to contain them. Mm -hmm. But they then, had a more expandable like, wall up there. Jeez. I want to say like a week or two ago, I was walking in my house and I looked down. I had twenty. Fleas on my leg. Bro! That's disgusting. And I, yeah, and I was like, alright, time to nuke the house. So I nuke yeah. the house. I gotta look this yeah. up. Just nuke I the flea, house. <laughs> I flea bombed the house once. It got rid of like the majority of them, but there was like one or two stragglers. I think there were eggs or something. So I just bombed the house again today. Good. I think I got yeah, I think I got I got rid of the let what the first. So something I can suggest, I don't know if this is even a thing, but they do have such a thing called flea collars, and there is nothing stopping you from putting it on yourself. <laughs> oh. Really? Or are you being sarcastic? I am not being sarcastic. If they are literally crawling on your body, put one on your leg. Put it around oh. your neck. Then so now you can do that. If for an animal, it should work for you. True, true. And at least then you're not getting bitten while waiting to see if you've gotten rid of the fleas. Oh no, that's the, this is the scary part. They haven't bit me once. They're fleas. 
they don't they haven't bitten me. They're fleas. Is though. your skin made out of titanium? Okay. I don't know. Like <laughs> literally, they would just hop on me and just chill. And if I no try to pick them off, they'll hop away. 